I'm Tommy Jonigan, and I am from Southern Illinois, a really small town near St. Louis, Missouri. Moved to Chicago, started stand-up when I was 18 in Southern Illinois, and then moved to Chicago, and uh, now I'm in Boston, taping my second half-hour special, or the second half of my one-hour special with a five-year break in between. I had to explain iTunes to my mom uh, on the phone recently, and that may be the last phone call we ever have together. <laughs> She, she wanted iTunes. I said, it's easy. Just go online, find iTunes, download it, create a username and a password, and you have iTunes. And she said, are there spaces in that? <laughs> she asked if there were spaces in a sentence I said out loud to her because she was typing it all into the browser bar as I spoke. Just www. Go online, find iTunes, download it create a username and a password, and was gonna hit .com and just fling all of that into the internet. Just, there's all the information. Bring me iTunes by tomorrow. When I moved to Chicago, I worked at a restaurant in the Sears Tower. And the boss was this real, just mean guy. He would, in front of people, just like get on your ass and berate you in front of people. And uh, I took a salads quiz, and I failed the salad quiz, which I wrote lettuce on all the answers. I thought that would be funny. And he comes up to me in front of people and he goes, what is this? And I said, that's a, that's a quiz. I, I didn't know the answer. I don't know how to make the dressing. You're going to take this test again. And if you fail it again, he goes, maybe I'll just take you off the floor, which is threatening my livelihood. Like he's saying, I'm the way you get money. Maybe I'll just stop doing that. So I waited till my section filled up and I took everyone's order and then didn't ring anything in and just walked up to him in front of people. And I go, uh, I'm going to leave now. And he goes, what, what, what? And I go, yeah, yeah, I, you can talk to people like that, but you definitely can't talk to me like that, so I'm going to leave. And he gets all flustered. He goes, should we go to my office? And I go, you're a terrible person, and it's not going to change by the time we get to your office. And some guy that worked there, as I, I leave, he goes, runs out on the street in downtown Chicago, and he goes, you said what we were all thinking. And then he holds his fist up in the air like the end of an 80s movie. And I turn around, and I just hold my fist up. So it's just two dudes like this, in the middle of Chicago. <laughs> then I walked in and I was like, what was that about? It was so crazy. Why, don't he, why doesn't he just quit? <laughs> I hired a handyman a few months ago. That's not a man thing to do. A handyman's not even a real job. A handyman is just a man that you pay money to be a man at your house. <laughs> and I hired one. When a handyman shows up and there's a man already there, he's confused. 